continue in task number seven, apply validation to all forms with error messages. So these are the product forms that comes with validation uh, that includes field names, validation, error messages. And there will be also for product type form. Now, let's run first your application and add on to your product and open up your form or the product form. So by default, uh, if we edit this page, there will be page validations that that will require you to enter a field or enter information and that would be for of course validation and let me show you that one as for product name example uh, yeah so required value so if you want to Turn off this and then you will create your own validation. And the first validation will be not now or enter product name will be the error message. So right click and create a validation. Now you first you will notice that there will be an item will be added on the validation, but you need to name that validation as any name will do, but I'll just name it as validation one. As long as you know the function for each one of those validation we have created. And from the validation area, the, there is a type of uh, selection here, but there will be a bunch of lists here, but more complex compared to the basic validation, which is requires a value only. But this time, since our validation requires item is not now, okay, I will select the type and select the item, which is of course pod name or B5 is pod name. There's still an error will come here. There's a red uh, number there, meaning you still have one error, which means we haven't filled up our error messages, which is required. So let me just enter the product name, right? And this would be our message for enter the product name. Now, next validation will be on product type ID. So if I will select the product type ID, right click and create the validation. Now I will name this validation as validation two. I mean we can we can turn off first the validation value required so that your current validation will be activated. And in the validation, we will select the same also. I believe so. It's uh, not now. Select product type as the error message. So this will be SQL expression. And instead, it would be item is not now also. Okay. We execute the validation. At the time, form will be loaded. We execute the validation. Uh, select the item and this would be for product ID and select for product type. Let me just copy this one and select product type. So this would be our error message. Now next would be product price which is item numeric. So enter valid product price. So which means now select for product price and you may disable plus your Validation required because you want to create your own validation, which would be your validation tree. Okay, right. now uh, this would be should be numeric, I believe so. Item is numeric, yeah. Item numeric, All right now. Item would be was P5 prod price and error message will be enter valid product price. Let me just copy this one and paste it over here. There we go. And lastly, would be for available. So for now, we have to disable. Okay, it's okay. So we don't have the prod value there. Now, 
Lock down and then select yes or no only from your error message. Uh, right click. Let's create a validation. This will be my validation form. Now, okay, this would be not long. I can stop. Now. Yeah, not now. Right, the item would be P5 available. Always execute, and this would be an error message. Let me check if I did always execute. Always execute. Yes. Now save this one and let me head on to my report page, which is page 4. And let's check whether the validation works. Let's try this. Okay, let's uh, remove Apple. And you will see apply changes if the validation inline is coming. Yes. By the way, the, the inline message is basically on the property of your validation say for example on product name so there will be a validation display location in line with the field location so notification will be also shown in the same line of your field so just like this say in the product type i will be selecting nothing there so of course there will be two messages appears in line as select product types message error will be also appear from perspective item and if you remember the product price is should be a numeric say i will write abc and apply changes and there will be three validations message error for that so now let's move on to next uh, form which is the product type form and the same thing also which is not now right. which is in the form now product type and let's click on any record and edit this page and we'll just head on to product type and let's uh, disable the value required because we're going to be working with validation right. and since this is another page i can make validation one is one again and yeah within this page we can only identify a particular validation there's no issue on the same name that you have assigned to another page so this would be mm, not now item is not now and of course the item would be p7 which is page 7 type score name, always execute. The message would be entry volume product type. Alright. Alright. Right. Now save this and up to go. So definitely this would work. Alright. Let's click on this and give it a like. We'll see how it says here. Another message, enter value product type. There you go. Right? So this time we have completed the task number seven. We'll head on to task eight in the next video. Thank you very much.